Hello guys, um, so today's video is going to be focusing on the type of brushes that I use for my um, for my everyday makeup routine. Um, so I am going to go ahead and talk about all my favorite brushes and what I use them for. So if you are interested in finding out, then just keep watching. Okay, so I am going to start off by um, talking about the uh, foundation brushes that I have. And I just have, um, okay, so I just have these three here. And um, if I am not using my Real Technique sponge, then I'll go ahead and use one of these um, foundation brushes. And um, I like to use this one for cream foundation. Um, this one is the Real Techniques brush, and it's the Essential Foundation brush. So I really like to use this one for my face. Now to get like underneath my eyes and like the small areas, like small areas, like under my eye here, I like to go in with this one, which is also a Real Techniques brush. But this one is a, this one, this one is called Pointed Foundation Brush. So yeah, as you can see, this one is smaller than this one. A little bit smaller so that's why I prefer this one for like under my eye or if I want to apply concealer under my eye so yes and then also I have this one which I like to use this one for cream foundation or just liquid foundation um, it's kind of like a kabuki brush and this one is also by real techniques but it doesn't have a name so I'm not sure what the name of this brush is but yeah it looks like that and I like it because it doesn't leave you, it doesn't leave any like streak marks on your face. So it's very like, it's almost like a sponge. So that's why I like this one. So those are it for my foundation brushes. Now moving on to when I set my face. Um, I have this one's here. Okay. So to set my face, I have these four brushes. And to set under my eyes, sometimes I use this one to set my entire face. Sometimes I use it just to set my under eye. Or when I'm baking, I like to... It is like the perfect size for under your eye. And it has also like a pointy tip. So that's pretty cool. And this one is a Morphe Brush G2. And I know Patrick Starr raves about this one. He says that it's like a like a beauty blender. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I like it. Um, I sometimes set my entire face using just this one, or sometimes I just use it for under my eyes. So, yeah. So that's that one. Then I have this one, the Real Techniques. Yes. Then I have this one is the Real Techniques brush, and it's a buffing brush. So this one is also pretty cool just to set your face. And then I have another Real Techniques brush, and this is a multitask brush. So, yeah. Then I have this big powder brush here. For when I am super on the go and I have literally no time. So I just grab some powder and just powder my entire face and I'm good to go. And this one is by Sigma and it is a large powder brush F30. Yeah. Um, so that's that for setting my face. Now for now to contour. So to contour, I have, let's see, I have three brushes. So the three brushes are, this one's here. And I have, this one is the e.l.f. brush and it is a complexion brush, but I like to use it um, to contour my cheeks. This is more like when I want to bronze my face from my forehead. Um, it applies it very nice and smooth. And it does give you that flawless affection. So I really like it. And it's also like $3. So you can't go wrong with that. If you're starting off and you don't know what brushes to buy, 
um, instead of like spending so much money um, on brushes that you don't know how to use them just yet, then I would say um, try some e.l.f. brushes. I know that they have some very good ones and very inexpensive ones. So I then I have this one here. It's a double sided brush and I love this one. This one I think was like $10, um, but you can buy it at any drugstore. I think CVS carries it. Um... I'm not sure where else, but I know I bought it at CVS. Um, so this one is a contour and a highlight brush. Um, this is by this is by MUA Professional. That's the name of the brand, and um, I really like it because it's kind of like angled. The brush is angled, so it does give you that fierce contour you're looking for. And then also you can highlight with the tip of it. So you know, just doing like dabbing, mo um, tapping motions. So it's very good for that. I really like it. And it's very, very smooth. And it does not shed. Like, the the bristles, they do not, like, go all over the place. I know I purchased, I had purchased some eyeshadow um, blending brushes from MUA. And those were a disaster. They broke. Um, the glue was just not, it was not the best quality glue. And so my brushes, they just, they broke and they were all over the place. But this one, I've had it for two years now. This is a very good brush. So that's one. And then the other one that I use to contour like most of the time is this one here. This is a contour brush by Real Techniques. And I love it. Like this is just a perfect size. It is very smooth and it just gives you that you know beautiful contour you can contour here um i contour my my forehead under my chin i just love it i love it love it love it and um i should probably go ahead and grab a few more in case one gets lost but right now i just have this one okay now um i'm gonna talk about the um other elf brush that i have I use uh, the, um, this ones. I use them for to set my concealer under my eye, and sometimes I use it. it they're exactly the same brush, but um, I have two just because in case I lose one. And I haven't found another brush that applies um, that sets my concealer like this one's here. And they are very very smooth, very inexpensive. They are just three dollars. And they get the job done. They are amazing. Um, I love them because I use one of them to sit my under eye. And it just, the bristles are very, very smooth. So I love that. Um, and then I use another one, like a clean one. I use it whenever I contour my nose to smoothen out, like, any harsh lines. So I love it for that purpose. Okay, now to highlight, I use, I have these three brushes here, and I have this one, it's a fan brush, and it's also by um, MUA Professional, so I use that one to highlight my cheeks, very inexpensive brush as well, I think it's like six dollars, and then like I told you guys, like I mentioned earlier, I use this one also by MUA, and then I have this one here, this one is a Sigma high cheekbone highlighter brush and it is um f03 so this one is perfect to highlight my nose cupid's bow and all that good stuff brushes now moving on to my eye brushes i am going to show you the brushes brushes that i use to blend out my makeup so now to blend my eyeshadows i have um this one's here and let me just quickly go over them. So I have, um, this one is the Sigma Blending Brush E25. And I have two of these just because, like, in case one of them gets lost. So they are very good for blending. I also have, this one is a Sephora brush, blending brush. Um, take a shot every single time I say blending <laughs> or brush. Um, okay, so this is a MAC brush here. Um, and then this one is a tapered blending brush E40 by Sigma. This one is a Sigma brush diffuse to diffuse your crease E38. And this ones are 
This ones were in the Gunmetal Collection. Um, in the Gunmetal Collection by Morphe, and these ones are G17 and G24. So G17 and G24. Um, this one is a little bit more fluffy. And um, yeah, but they both work um, wonderful. Yes, and then this one is a Real Techniques brush. It is a base shadow brush. So I also like it for blending. So that's that. Now this is just to up apply um, shimmery eyeshadows. So I have this one by Eco Tools. This um I love the Eco Tool brushes because they are also double sided, so it's really really good. Um, I use this end here to apply my shimmery eyeshadows, and then this end to either blend out um anything eyeshadows or just to intensify the look a little bit more. So that's great, and they are they are also very inexpensive. Um, and then I have this one. This is this one is a Sigma brush. And it is a cream color brush, E58. So, yeah. Um, I also have this one. And it is a Sigma brush. It is a concealer brush, F70. But, like I said, I use it to apply shimmery eyeshadows. Um, now for my inner corner, to get in there, in my inner corner, um, to apply any highlight or anything, I have this Ecotool brush. It is a precision blending brush. So I use that one, and then I also have I have uh, these two by BH Cosmetics. So yeah, BH Cosmetics also come through. Let me tell you, they their brushes are also amazing. And to set my concealer or my uh, eye primer, I have these two, and they are a Real Technique brush. Real Techniques brush, and they are, the name of the brushes are Crease Brush and Shadow Brush, but I, well, yeah, I use them to set my concealer. Now, to carve out my eyebrows, I have, um, let's see, I like to have a nice grip. And so I purchased this one, like, years, years ago. It was part of a, a Christmas collection. Um, this one is a MAC brush, but I honestly don't like it anymore. I feel like it's too big. Um, it is a flat brush, but I feel like it's too big for me. So um, I moved on to this one. Uh, this is a Morphe brush, and it is G15. It is a flat brush. And I just love it. So I have that one. I also have some Real Techniques, like very small, detailed brush. I don't know if you could tell but yeah I have those and then I also have a, a BH Cosmetics angled flat brush so yes that's that now I have two eyeliner brushes um, I honestly I purchased them because I thought I would need them but I honestly I don't do this on myself um, I do apply eyeliner on my clients um, so if you are a makeup artist and well you don't have to be a makeup artist but I honestly don't use this brushes um, this ones are eyeliner brush and they are by Sigma but honestly I just use the one I use the wand that the eyeliner comes with. So um, I would only use these brushes on my clients, not really on myself, to do my eyebrows. I have these two angled brushes. I actually have these three. So Eco Tools, like I said, it's a double sided, so you can use this side for eyeshadow. And then I use this one for my brows. It is an angled brush. And then I have. Then I have this Sigma Small Angle Brush E65. This one is honestly my favorite one. I love it. And there's this one, Sephora Angle Brush. Also, for concealer under my eyebrows, I have this BH Cosmetic one. To apply primer or concealer on my eyelid, I have this Eco Tool one. 
And I also use it to highlight my inner corners. And this is a small tapered blending brush E45 by Sigma. And my blush brush that I use, the only one that I use, is the Real Techniques uh, blush brush. So it's a very nice, fluffy, smooth brush and um that completes all the brushes that i have and that i use on a daily basis um if you want to learn how to clean your brushes i also have a video talking about that and showing you how i clean my brushes my brushes it is very important to clean your brushes at least once a week to prevent from having acne or irritating your skin so um yes if you love this look that I have on today, which is a very nice, uh, shimmery, glittery um, makeup look. I did film it and I do have a video. So go ahead and check my other videos and you will find this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to see any other videos that I post because I will be posting more videos. Bye.